Holland, and welcome to another edition of A Preacher and His Work. We have so many great gospel preachers across the country and around the world, and this is our way of helping you get to know them just a little bit better. We are at Polishing the Pulpit this week, and we are thankful to be here, and we're thankful to have Stephen Cordell sit down with us. Stephen, I appreciate your time today. Oh, thank you for asking me. Uh, what congregation are you currently working with? Central Church of Christ in Monticello, Florida. And how long have you been with, with Central? Since October of last year, 2017. All right. Well, uh, how long have you been in preaching total? Since Super Bowl Sunday, 1994, when I graduated from Bear Valley. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate everything that you do. We appreciate your, your ministry. What, what motivated you to, to get into to ministry? Well, when I became a Christian, it was actually in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I got involved in a rotation that we had up there on Sunday nights and helped start a congregation in Healy, Alaska. And uh, I was told that you're very good at this and you should consider it someday. And that was that's the short answer to how I got into it. <laughs> All right. Well... How did you end up in Healy, Alaska? Well, I was going to college. I grew up in Alaska. Okay. My dad was in the Air Force. And um, from Fairbanks, we helped plant a church there in the mid-'80s. And I would just go down every couple of weeks and, and help uh, bolster the congregation, preach there, that sort of thing. All right. Well, from, from the time you started preaching and, mm -hmm. and involved in ministry to now, when you look at your ministry, when you look at our our culture, our, our country, the world, if there was just one message you could share with the world, what would that one message be? I think the one message has got to be the the fact that, number one, God loves us. Number two, God is in control no matter what kind of chaos you see going on in the world, and I realize there is a lot of it. And number three, let's, uh, well, there could be more, but number three, uh, God wants us all to be unified through His Son, Jesus Christ, and to share the gospel in a way that people can understand it in a modern world, not using uh, a lot of archaic uh, languages and things like that, and make it applicable to us today. And the word is applicable still. You know, it's just as relevant today as it's always been. And I think that's where I try to put my lessons is to focus on application. How can you use it today so that when you walk out of the sermon, you don't think, oh boy, that's 30 minutes of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> that it is something you can walk out and say, hey, I didn't know that. Or, hey, I need to be doing such and such. Or, I learned something, something new. Absolutely. And, you know, Christianity is a, a proactive religion. We're supposed to be out doing and obeying mm -hmm. and, and living. And knowing how to apply the Word of God to our lives is a message that the world needs mm -hmm. to hear. Yeah. Well, Stephen, I, I appreciate you, you coming and, and being with us today. I appreciate what, what you're doing, and we appreciate you. And I look forward to being with you next time on A Preacher and His Work. The preceding program was a production of the Fort Payne Church of Christ TV studio located in Fort Payne, Alabama.